what I got. I'm pretty excited about these storage cases. Very similar to the Sortimo ones that Adam Savage uses. They're actually almost a direct copy of the Stanley ones, which are cheaper than Sortimo. These are Harbor Freight, which are cheaper than Stanley. So, I'm pretty excited about these. I might do nuts and bolts in this thing here, and then everything else in here. And eventually I'd like to be able to, I'd want to build a, uh, like a shelving case, some, some kind of like organizer thing where you just go here and grab what you want. The other ones stay in place. You can grab this one, it slides out. That way they're not stacked. They're not touching. Grab what you need. Bring it to the car or whatever you're working on. Open it up. You can even pull each of these individual little bins out of here. It's modular. Because right now I got like something kind of similar with this thing. Like I have these little these little screws here. And I've been using these a lot for attaching stuff to the wall around here. So these kind of things I'll be able to put in there. And, you know, this thing, I've already maxed this thing out already. I mean, this is just stuff that I've had in my toolbox and stuff. Like, you know, things that, I, you know, like this one right here. This is all AN fittings. That one's full. And when I do the wiring from this place, I got these little, these little push connectors. That's full. Like this one right here is a bunch of sanding discs and cookies and stuff. That's, that's full. Here's this one. I like this one. I'm pretty proud of this one. I'll probably keep that like the way it is. Those are all uh, razor blades. It fits in there real nicely. I'm pretty happy with that. But this thing is not big enough. So I'll start with these and then maybe I'll add, you know, five or ten more or whatever. I just spent a few minutes organizing a couple of these. This one is wiring and doodads. So I got like um, weather pack uh, terminals and butt connectors and ring terminals separated by size and all kinds of stuff. Here's connectors, leftover connectors from when I built my harness, bulbs, relays, switches, fuses. Oh, this is great. I love this. I love this. These things are going to be amazing. This one, I just got some grommets, caps. So this is gonna be over here, just screws, There's some anchors, more wall anchors, bigger anchors, miscellaneous anchors, drywall screws, tiny little screws. This is going to be great. And it's about 5 o'clock, so it's almost time to go home. Actually, JT and Kevin have a little project they've been working on. Um, I don't know if they revealed it on Instagram or what the deal is, but they got an S15. Kevin's building a uh, kind of a shop car out of it. Um, to showcase some of the stuff he does and it's going to be a drag car so but you know Ford 9 inch rear end uh, 2J it's gonna be a, a pretty crazy car when it's done uh, left hand drive by the way converting it to left hand drive so they got something I think they're messing with right now they're messing with um, the stand that the chassis is sitting on the bare chassis where the, the casters they can roll it around the shop. I think they're trying to get something a little more permanent. So I'm going to go there and weld something for him. I don't know why JT can't do it. He's much better welder than I am. I think maybe because he's busy or he's doing something else. I don't know. So I'm going to go over there in a second and do some some uh, some gluing with his uh, Miller MIG welder. Bzz. Oh, there's his face. I see it. So here's what we do at Karchik. We're going to show you how to spray this brake clean. No, don't break my drink! Done. Oh, you just killed me. You just killed me. I gotta weld that. JT, you just killed me.
We all the time at this point. You can't really see what it is. Oh, there, there's the line you're looking for. S15. As soon as we're done making the uh, the plates, we're gonna take some two by two, weld it to the plates that are bolted to the chassis. And he bought some beefy, beefy casters, super beefy casters. That's where we're at. Start welding soon. Hopefully this music doesn't copyright copyright me. Off left. What's that? We'll take it out. I done lost my fingertips. I'm putting some casters on this bad boy. All right, I'm back at my shop now. I'm getting ready to close up and get out of here. It's time for dinner. Had some fun welding, messing with the Hobart and a Miller. Check back in for updates on the S15 race car that KSV Looms is building. Um, that should be a pretty cool project. Can't wait to see that one. Um, it's got a lot of work to do, but it'll be cool. So yeah, that's it for Car Sick today. Thanks for visiting the shop. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.